Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Sarah. And this is Americans, Americans Cook, Cook Check, Check, the YouTube channel where Southwest cooking meets Central European cuisine. Today we're making something, aren't we? We are. And what is it we're making today? We are making Marlenka. Yay, Marlenka! <laughs> it's a wafer layered cake. Wafer, a wafer layered cake. Sort of like, um, what, like tiramisu is a, well, sort of a wafer layered cake. I like tiramisu too. But what is exactly in Marlenka? So there are a lot of ingredients for Marlenka, unlike some of our other recipes, just a whole bunch. And everything except for, it's really easy, everything except for the condensed milk is for the wafers. So the cream takes four ingredients, the condensed milk, the honey, butter, and eggs. That's the ingredient. So uh, what do we do now? Get cooking. Let's get cooking. So the first thing that we needed to do is, oh, lots of butter. This is for the, the wafers, right? Right. And uh, butter and sugar. You cannot go wrong when you start with butter and sugar. And um, we needed to melt all that. Oh, and if sugar is not enough, what's that? Honey. Yeah, honey. So it's supposed to be super sweet. And yeah. that's why you have all that sugar and all that honey. Yum. And what I'm doing here is I'm heating it and it should, I think I made a mistake here. This should be a little smoother. I didn't heat it long enough. That's one of the things. Oh, and now we're, we're actually mixing the dry ingredients now. So this is with our stand mixer. Uh, that is the flour and now that's a cocoa powder. Yum. So it's going to be chocolatey and uh, cracking eggs. Yep. I'm always nervous cracking eggs on camera. <laughs> I crack eggs and get eggshells and things too. Uh, there's the, uh, the sugar, honey, butter mixture. And now we're gonna mix it up, I think. Yep. So to get that mixing, at uh, super speed mixing. It's just gonna mix it all up so it's a nice, nice firm pastry dough. And, and um, yep, it's pretty firm. <laughs> Look at the color though. It's beautiful it's color. But the texture was a little off. It felt like, like there were nuggets of, of wheat berries in there. We did mill our own grain for this, didn't we? We did. And I don't think we milled it fine enough. You can even see the texture. This is, this is my invention of like a giant cookie cutter to make perfect circles. And we have to make five layers uh, to make the mar Marlenka. So I wanted them all to be exactly the same size. So here we go, and we didn't show all five, but here's the, here's the cooking of them. Yay! Now this was you cooking, doing this the cooking, is right? This me doing all of the oven work. It yeah. was not easy transferring them from the pan to the cooling To the station. cooling racks, yeah. And, and uh, what do we have going on here? This is me again. Making I'm the cream. Making the cream. And it started out with condensed milk. I've never cooked with condensed milk that I can remember. And those are egg yolks. Yep. Makes them, look how fast I can do that. Super speed. Yay. And more honey because what's not to love about more honey? <laughs> and at some point I hand this off to you. I, so you've already handed it off to me because okay. I'm putting the ingredients. Okay. So you did the butter and it turned a nice color. Okay. And now we're, we're assembling. And somewhere along the way here, I got this, this uh, crazy idea of Marlenka took so long to make. What if we could make a faster Marlenka, right? And, yeah. And this is the process of making the Marlenka. You, you stack the wafer and then you put the, the cream on top and then you spread it around and you put another and you just keep layering, right? Right. Okay. I thought, well, while, while we're cooking some of this other stuff, why don't I make a quick Marlenka? So what's in Marlenka? There's, there's honey. Right, and there's wafers. Honey wafers and, and there's cream substance. Cream, sub, some sort of creamy stuff. So I went, I got graham crackers, which is that's an American snack, which is a honey honey cracker, um, yep. sort of the same as these wafers. Could it? Maybe it could work. And and then I also had uh, vanilla pudding, <laughs> <laughs> and so I put I layered vanilla pudding on top of the graham cracker, and then I put. Uh, 
chocolate sauce and honey because you need honey. Yep. And then I just layered that up. The pudding did not want to spread, though. It looked pretty <laughs> awful. We'll see the picture of it. Um, and then, uh, then we, were, we decided we were going to have the taste testers try that, too. So here we're still, look how long this takes. And this is, this is sped up, too. It just takes a long time to stack this. Uh, the, thing, the thing that we have it stacking in, uh, that's my giant cookie, cookie cutter. That is also, we use that to make, to make uh, cheesecakes. It's a, so I think it's called a spring form pan. Yes, it's a spring form pan. And the nice thing about it is we can actually open it up so it's not a, not as small a circle, and then we can pull that off the Marlenka after it's sat in the fridge for a while. So you don't have to flip anything upside down, you know, and, and we have this nice guide to make sure that the Marlenka is stacked exactly, perfectly straight tall. So um, I think we're close to the top layer here, or maybe one more layer here. I think that's maybe the last one. We'll see. Nope, here's the last one. And, and the last one, I learned something. See that? There's a hole in the, the top one. I should have held back some crumbs of the, the wafer because I could just put the crumbs in there to fill the gap. As is, we had a gap in the top layer. So sad. Um, now this is the last layer of, of uh, the cream. And we're going to top this with something chocolatey. We could have used the cocoa powder, but we used instead, this is hot chocolate powder mix, instant hot chocolate. So it's a, a, a dark chocolate, hot chocolate. So um, I don't know. I, I thought it tasted okay on there. Um, it was being creative. It was being, <laughs> yes, it's being, and there it is. Look at that. It, it turned out okay. I mean, it looks nice, um, but it was, uh, well, we'll see what the taste testers say. But, uh, and then here's our other creation. This is the, the fake quick Marlenka. It doesn't look as nice, but you know the colors. Are, I guess are okay, right? They're pretty much the same. Pretty, but it, look at the sloppiness of the pudding. So that took a long time, but it was fun. Yes, and I'm just. I can't wait to see what the taste <laughs> testers think, and I can't wait to eat some myself. Yeah, more like a... <laughs> Let's go taste test. Hi, I'm Noah, and I'm a bit picky. And I'm Leah, and I'm a little bit more adventurous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here, let me try. Tastes like a soggy mush. <laughs> it, it tastes like a sort of soggy cake. <laughs> and now it's time to try the slow Marlenka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bit tougher than the quick Marlenka. <laughs> if I can, hmm. Yeah. That was really great. And that's Marlenka. Yes. Uh, so it was interesting. The, uh, the fast Marlenka, it wasn't really like Marlenka, but it, it wasn't bad for something you threw, we threw together in like two minutes. It was actually pretty good. And the Marlenka, I would honestly say, was it as good as the Marlenka we had in, in Czech Republic? No, it wasn't as light and fluffy, and it was a little grainy. It was a little grainy. So next time we, we try it, we'll try to get rid of the graininess, but um, it was still pretty good. <laughs> so that ends today's exciting adventure in Americans Cook Czech, and uh, you get to say it. Dobro kut. <laughs> okay, see you next time.